Okay, so we're looking at question three. They give us this matrix B. They say its determinant is eight. They're not going to want us to show that, though. They want us to give the determinants of these other matrices. So presumably these other matrices, C and D, they come from B with some row reduction operations. So what are the similarities between C and B? So the first, the first column and the third column are the same. The first column of C is the same as the third column of B, and then the third column of C is similar to the first column, but there's that 12 has been times by 2. The other stuff, the, so the third row is times by 2. Yeah, that's it. So column we swap column 1 with column 3, and we times row 2 by... times row 3 by 2. And so that means that we swap them, we get a minus by minus 1. When you times it by 2, you times by 2, so the term will end up being minus 16. So let's write that down. So this is 3.1. So the determinant of C is minus 1 times 2 times 8, well, times the determinant of B, which means it's um, minus 16, because this minus 1 comes from, you swap column 1, column 3, and that 2 comes from multiplying row 2 by 3. Okay. My cat, this is us having a fight. Hold on. Okay, so now we need to do 3.1, oh, 3.2, sorry. Okay, so how does D relate to B? Um, so the third column looks exactly the same. Second column looks exactly the same. First column looks exactly the same. It's only the third column that has changed. It has changed quite a lot. 3, 4, 1, minus 4. So what have we done to it? How have we gone from 2 minus 1 minus 3, 0 to 3, 4, 1, 4? So it must be like a column operation or something. <laughs> okay, so to go from, from 2 minus 1 minus 3, 0 to 3, 4, 1, you've got to add 1. You've got to add 5. You've got to add 4. Got a minus four, one five four four. We don't have, we don't have a column like that. We don't have a column like that, do we? Um, so how can we get this? Is it maybe? Maybe this column actually is, yes, this column, this uh, we have what we actually have. It's not a row reduction operation, but we have that column 4 actually equals column 3 plus column 2. And whenever you have that, the term is 0, because the, 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 rows, the columns are not linearly independent. Okay. So it doesn't actually have anything to do with B. So the determinant of D equals 0 because... Um, was it column 4 was actually equal to column 2 plus column 3? Okay, that's 3.2 1, 2.1.